mean? They are quite tough to handle. Welcome to Fishing Squad. Right, just uh, putting a video together of a session that I had at Porthy Scadden uh, for ass fishing. I, I think to catch ras <clears throat> in North Wales, the best method is to fish drop shot with either a three, three loop rig, a loop rig, you know, like we, a loop at the top where it ties onto your main line, loop it middle for your snoo, whether you cut the loop or attach a piece of mono to it and then you hook. Hook sizes to me should be anything from a size 4 to a 1 0. Um, sometimes you look better on bigger hooks, sometimes you look better on smaller hooks for whatever reason. And then obviously the bottom loop. We're led on. So we're back from a session. Uh, well, I'm, I'm well and truly back because I'm in Doncaster now. Uh, where we, I've had a session with Paul um, and George at Porthy Scadden. We probably didn't get all the fish on camera. Might have lost some of yours, Paul. I didn't do it on purpose, pal. Um, but we probably had about, between us, probably had about four rats each. Um, we did catch a couple of spider crabs that aren't on camera. Um, and George had a Tom Pot Blenny as well, which are quite a, you know, it's a nice little species that to add to your, if you're, you know, if you're species fishermen or anything like that, or, you know, micro species, etc. So I'll let the video play and then uh, you'll just see how we got on at Porthy Scadden. Um, it's a really good place to fish. And uh, yeah, you'll see. Right, we're at Porthy Scadden tonight, but they can't fall there. Falls over there. Nick's having a go at Dexter Wedge. Paul and his mate are having a go for some wrasse. Which is what we've come for. What do you need to get wrasse from the shore? The easiest way to catch him is to dig some fresh plowlog. Or limpets are good bait. I'm going to knock a couple of limpets off as well. And we'll talk to the rig as we go. It's a lovely evening, nice and still. Some fresh bait. Let's have a go. Paul's just playing a ballon ras. It's a nice one as well. Really nice one. On lugworm. It's a lovely one that mate. Yeah, spot on, isn't it? Mm. Look at that. And fresh black lug is that? Yeah, black. Just get it out Pressure moment. <laughs> They've got a bad habit of flipping out people's hands, haven't they? Oh, as well. Yeah. They're like just pure muscle, aren't they? I'll get it on video, I'll screenshot it back and send it to you, yeah? There you go. Nice one, Paul, get in. It's a <laughs> nice good start. Up, See if we can get some more, eh? Yes, that's it. <laughs> Here you go, George. Right there, innit? It's only a small one. It's got some nice colours on it. It's a small ballon. So, but is it a ballon? Um, I'm not very good at identifying them. There's a little bit of difference sometimes, clearly, isn't there, between like a corkwood, is it, and a... I think it's another ballon. Yeah, it's a... It's a ballon, ballon. is it, would you say? Yeah. Oh no, it's got a spot on the tail, it's cork wing. Cork wing, yeah. Right. Oh, it's, a, it's to imitate uh, as though that's an eye, isn't it? Yeah. So it's prey. We'll get it put back before uh, I drop it. <laughs> to one. Really nice little fight that was, well, on blow lug. Nice, uh, ball and rest. Well done, mate. Cheers. So it's absolutely absolutely lovely evening here at Porthy Scadden. George is having to go with Lua now. Got Porthy Ago in the background. And Porth Coleman just before there. To show you Paul's rig. Just got a simple running ledger rig with zip slider. What a couple of foot is that a so size four with black lug on it. Simple it works. It's had the biggest fish out of us all so far. <laughs> so we're having a problem with spider crabs at the minute, like, there's loads. The, the floor of the bay is absolutely plastered in them. I don't know if we can see any now, they're probably not showing for the camera. We have actually caught a couple. I haven't caught any. But there's one down there, I don't know if you can see it. It's just there. It's just hiding in the kelp now. It's just... It's a really nice evening. So the type of terrain you're looking for is just like where there's little bits of kelp, 
kelp beds like gullies like that that looks quite interesting through a bit more depth of water in there but you can still catch them probably in that depth of water no problem but you need water so if you want the water ideally to be crystal clear it to be calm sometimes it being sunny can help as well Fourth is Scadden's perfect for them. Right, we've got one, finally. Went straight into kelp. Managed to get it out, luckily. Let's bring it over for a bit. We've got a bad habit of flipping, uh, like, um, tensing up, aren't we, when you get out of water? You can drop them, which is a bit, obviously, not ideal. <laughs> that's two fish out so far, so that's a good, good start. I'm not launching from up here. <laughs> I'll just drop it in the outside, it should go straight back. Yeah, boom. Another one for Paul. Is it Corkwin? Biggest of the day. <laughs> what biggest Corkwin? Uh, or is no, it Ballad? Ballad. Ballad. Nice one, mate. <laughs> Something half decent here. Up to the head. Oh, it's up to the head. It's a bigger one, though, isn't it? Not bad. Second biggest one at night, probably. <laughs> nice one, Paul. I can't get much footage of you over here, but. Oh, well. I've just had a bite. Nice one, mate. You can see them quite well camouflaged, but it's about three or four blennies just on the top, goby type things on the top there for that rock. You know, just wait before it glue the shelves off. There's one there, just shut off. Quite interesting, that. Got a spider crab down here. I've put a jelly lure on, by the way. Ragworm, jelly, jelly ragworm on for a bit. It's going to look a bit quiet. Yeah, go on. Right, fish on again. Just uh, gently lift him in. That's definitely a ballon ras, that isn't it? The colours in it. There's all sorts on there, there's greens, yellows, browns. Nice fish. Yeah. Nice one. Another go. Just got another one, didn't even know I had it on, my rod tip just bent, I lifted and there were fish on it, it's only a baby, they don't, they don't grow that big anyway do the corkwing rest I don't think do they? No. So yeah, nice. we'll uh, give it a gentle release rather than <laughs> dropping it in from the top of the cliff. Cheers. George there with a little Tom Pot blending. Don't see many of them really but, nice one George. Just heading back now. It's as easy as that. All right, Paul. You had the biggest one. <laughs> Have a nice evening. All right, yeah. So we had a couple of we had a few balance. A few cork wins and then they were at Tom Pot Barney. Um, really enjoyable session, good company, lovely evening, and we caught some fish. What more could you ask for? I think ras fishing is a really good way for people to get into sea fishing. It's not very complicated, um, it's, re it's really easy. It's entertaining on small rods. You only need spinning rods with 15 pound line and you're away it really is it's top 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 little bit of fishing to start you off if you want to get into sea fishing and it's productive as well that's the other thing so yeah that was our session at Porth is uh, hope you enjoyed the video other than that keep safe tight lines have a good one i'll see you later